Hi guys, it's Inam Kafour here with the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 smartphone and we're going to be showing you how to pair your wireless PS3 keypad with the smartphone itself. Some users saying they had a lot of trouble getting this to be picked up by the smartphone itself when the Bluetooth is turned on but I'm going to go through the steps that I've gone through to get this paired up because it's a nice little keypad to have. It fits in your palm quite nicely and it beats having some of the bigger keypads with you when you're out and about. If this has previously been paired with your PS3, you may need to do a reset via the button on the back there. But what you need to do first of all is turn the device off via the slider along the top right of the handset. Okay, it's off. And then what you need to do is hold down the blue button on the left hand side, keep that pressed down, and then turn on that slider as you do there. Now you may need to keep the button pressed down until it starts flashing and then you're away and ready to rock so you can let go of it now. So what you need to do is then turn on your Bluetooth on your handset itself. It'll go through the available devices there and it can see the wireless keypad there. So I'm just gonna tap on it and it brings up a screen which says type in, let's have a look, six, nine, seven, one, and then hit enter, which is that one. And then it should pair itself. There you go, it disappears from the screen and the device is now paired because it's just got the static light on instead of it flashing. We're going to test this to make sure it works. So press the little button with a little hand in there. It then turns it onto a mouse and you get the cursor appear on the screen. Now if your keypad itself isn't calibrated, your mouse pad or the, your cursor on the screen will jump all over the place. So to calibrate it, what you'll need to do is press down the blue button and the right button for about 10 seconds all at the same time so keeping those down simultaneously there we go that's all calibrated now because the red light and that green light flashed off and then back on again so that's now calibrated and you can see the mouse moving around just by me hovering over these shiny buttons on the, on the keypad itself and what we'll do is just go over into the app section so you can see where the apps icon is there so we'll just maneuver down there with the cursor as it is now on there. Then what we'll do, is you've got these two arrow buttons here to go into something and then back out again. So I'm gonna press this left hand one to click into it and you can see it's gone to my applications screen there. So what we'll now do, and if I wanted to go back, I'll just press that back button and it returns to the same screen again. So again, what we'll do is go down to the applications icon there, press that button to go into it and I'm going to load up, say, a writing application of some variety. So I'll go into my folder there and see what I have. I've got, let's have a look. Let's try color note again. Here we go. There's the first one there that we had previously. Just left click on that. Here we go. I'm just going to press inside there, click on it there. And it says double tap to edit. So I'm going to double tap it. There we go, that recognises a double tap by me pressing that twice. And then the cursor has started flashing. And then I can type whatever I want pretty much and it will appear on the screen. What you need to remember is the shiny keys are currently in cursor mode at the moment. So if you press anything, no characters will appear on the screen. So if I press H for example, so nothing happens. So to go back to character input, you need to press that little hand again. So the light goes out and it's regular QWERTY keyboard as normal there. So if I put a space in there, it recognises the space. And if I do, just write a little sentence. And my name is Inam. There you go. Recognises it pretty well. Well, actually, looking at that, I don't like the way my name is spelt there. So I'm just going to go press the back button there to delete it. Say if I want to capitalise the first character of my name, all I need to do is press the red button there and then caps. You'll get the green light turn on there. And then I can type in my name and I can do it in all upper characters if I want as it is there then to go out of it press the caps lock there and it'll come out of it as easy as that if I return back with the mouse cursor press that button again and the cursor returns to the screen itself and to come out of any application like you do on the handset itself you press the back button well on the keypad you've got this back button here so if I press that it comes out of it again it says saved Again, out of the application or that particular notepad, takes me back to the folder view, back again, takes me through to the application screen, back again through to the main screen itself. And as I say, you can navigate throughout the screens by using the cursor as it is on the screen, fluctuating about as I'm going across it, or 
you can unpress that button so the green light goes out and you'll notice a little blue cube around that camera icon and you can navigate throughout the screens via that as well by using the arrow keys. And that's how easily you can pair your Sony PlayStation 3 wireless keypad with your Android smartphone and in this example it's a Samsung Galaxy Note 2 smartphone. Any questions or comments you guys have got hit them up down in the comment section down below there. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and you like what you saw. If you haven't already done so hit subscribe from the button down there. It doesn't cost you anything and it's totally free and you can check out some of our forthcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Have a wicked day and we'll see you next time.